Okay, I'm back for part two. Let's see what this is now. We got, um, there's a lot of stuff in part one that's coming out. Now we're going to see what's going on in part two of this, the rest of this book, and be done with this one because um, awesome stuff coming out in October. Fear and Changelings in Las Vegas. Strike Force number two. The Devil's Trojan in the City of Sin. Cool cover. The Strike Force. Is that Angela? Let's see this. Something is very wrong with Damon Hellstrom. Hel Hellstrom. And that's saying something for the son of Satan. The only one who might be able to help is Damien's sister, Satana. And she's no angel. Demons, debauchery, and decapitation abound as Asgard's X-Force takes on Las Vegas. Wow. So is that Angela? Or is that the other one, Satana? And that looks like Spider-Woman. Well, it looks like Angela, though. She always has this, this um, long thing here. I'm not sure about the characters, so I'm not sure who that is. But it doesn't say. Just just mentioned it in the uh, reading that I just read for you. But um, we'll see. What issue was that? That's it. Did I say number one? Did I say number one? No, that's number two. Okay, Dead Man Logan. Wow, number 12. It's finally here. 12 of 12. Wow. Legends Never Die. A shockingly well-constructed farewell. Comic Watch. Violent Fun. Comics The Gathering. A masterpiece. You don't read comics.com. Wow. Okay, now we got History of the Marvel Universe 4 of 6. We got the Punisher, number 16. I like the colors on that, that's cool. Mary Jane variant. Zemo, Dark 30. Got the, the Magnificent Ms. Marvel, number eight. Agents of Atlas, number three of five. Destroy, defend or destroy. Death's Head, number four of four. Number four is always a problem. Gwenpool strikes back, number three of five. Terry Dodson. Runaways, number 26. The Birth of the Revenging Runaways. Fearless, number 44. Ms. Marvel's here to save the day. Ironheart, number 11. Okay, Roy Thomas and Alan Davis. Whoa, look at that. That's cool. I wonder what that's going to go on for. Like, the, imagine buying that or having that hanging on your wall in a frame and a mat and a big, big, huge piece of artwork. Interior art by Alan Davis. That's cool, too. Wow. And the cover is by John McCrea. Savage Sword of Conan, number 10. Alan Davis is doing artwork. Cool. Nearly 50 years after he first brought... After he first brought the Sumerian to the pages of Marvel Comics, the incredible Roy Thomas returns to script the Savage Sword of Conan. Wow. Teamed with legend, legendary Alan Davis. Get ready for an unforgettable chapter in the saga of Conan as the Barbarian leads a mysterious band of adventurers in the Himalayan mountains in search of a lost comrade. Savage Sword of Conan. Look at all the detail in that. I was like, I almost didn't see that. Well, all back there, everybody behind him.
We've got Age of Conan, Valeria. Three of five, Assault on Mitra. And we got Conan the Barbarian, number 10. That's a wild cover. The story you never thought you'd see, The Death of Conan. It's all been leading to this, the thief, the reaver, the slayer. Conan meets his ultimate fate at the hands of the Crimson Witch. But what lies it beyond? And find out the secret history of the Crimson Witch and her mysterious underlings, plus the next chapter in the all-new novella, Black Starlight. Okay. Oh, look at that. That's cool. Journey to Star Wars, The Rise of Skywalker, Allegiance, one of four, or one through four, and then before the, the exciting events of Star Wars, The Rise of Skywalker. Hmm. Let's look at the art real quick. Got a variant cover here. It's not final art though, by Luke Ross. And all these different books. Let me see, issue one, issue one, two, two, three, three, four, four, different variant covers. And this one's issue one, two, three, and four. So there'll be different ones. I'm not sure when they're all coming out and everything, but that looks cool. Obviously starting in October though. Here's some artwork interior art from issue one. That's cool. Nice colors. Not final word, it says, so it must you gotta have words on it, I'm sure. Word balloons. Star Wars Target Vader number four of six. I have you now. Let's see. Hunting the hunters. Darth Vader is trapped alone and surrounded by deadly bounty hunters. Ha! <laughs> he laughs at that. But the Sith Lord is never truly alone as long as he wields the dark side of the Force. You don't know the power of the dark side. But Yoda says, when Luke asked him, is the dark side stronger? No. But, let's see what else is this. Cool. Star Wars number 73. I had a whole idea about the ending of uh, the latest Star Wars movie, what they should have done with Luke and everything. If you saw, if you read the book Vader Down, I still have to get all the issues and put them together. Or I might even get the trade paper back. They should have did something like that with that to show just the power of the light, light side, the power of the Jedi. Because Darth Vader kicked butt. But they should. But the dark side's not as strong as the light side, so they should. They just messed up a perfect opportunity to have an awesome movie. Star Wars Jedi: Fallen Order and show Luke kick butt and nearly kill uh, Kylo Ren. Dark Temple, but be stopped by uh, maybe his mother, his sister. Star Wars Dark Doctor Aphra number annual number three. Just to go in when they were sh be shooting at him and everything, and not be a hologram or not be a a, a ghost, but to be shooting at him and him blocking it, and just walk right up to the ship and just decimate their entire army and everything. Star Wars, maybe not kill everybody, but just wound them all or something. If if Luke's not going to do that, Star Wars Doctor Alpha number thirty-seven. Let's see what this is. A Rogue's End Part One. Brand new arc starts here. Well, yeah, just take all the ships down and everything and then stand over Kylo Ren and say, the dark side is nothing 
just just totally humiliate the empire and then walk off into the sunset kiss Leia and say bye to everybody and say I'm gone don't bother me again and just teach Kylo and all of them a lesson and everything like wow they may try to come after him and everything like that but just not be able to get anything going because he just tears them up Marvel Action Avengers The Fear Haters Marvel Action Captain Marvel number 3 of 3 The Fear Eaters I mean Marvel Action Avengers number 10 Marvel Action Spider-Man number 11 Young Guns here we go here we go coming in October that'll be cool now we got some uh, little statues here come at me bro that's cool I mean I got the uh, comic book with that one with uh, Scotty Young's version I wonder if that movie's gonna be good I hope so Barbie's pretty scary that's cool I love the lady who plays her in the movie and everything like that. She looks good. She's hot with that cares that character and everything evil too. It made you want to just stop her. That's cool. After Alex Ross's painting. Ultimates by Mark Miller. Hmm. Brian Hitch. New printing. Marvel's Spider-Man script book hardcover. That's cool. Star Wars Age of Heroes, Age, Age of Republic Heroes, Marvel Zombies Trade, that's the first one, if you can find those, boy, they're worth a lot, Marvel Zombies number two, Marvel Zombies number three, then we got Marvel Portfolio, Joe Quesada, that's cool, that's coming out next year in February, Spider-Man, Miles Morales, Omnibus, hardcover coming out next year in February 2020 X-Men vs. Apocalypse the 12 Omnibus hardcover February 2020 The Life of Captain Marvel select hardcover February 2020 we got Black Panther Visions of Wakanda hardcover February 2020 Black Panther poster book. That's cool, Jack Kirby stuff. Marvel Masterworks Mighty Thor, Volume 19, hardcover, February 2020. Marvel Masterworks Uncanny X Men, Volume 12, hardcover, February 2020. Hmm. Then we got Marvel Masters of Suspense, Stan Lee and Steve Ditko. That's cool. Marvel Monograph, The Art of Stuart Imanen, Trade, Paperback. That's in November. And we got this stuff here, Symbiote Spider-Man, Trade. Oh, these are cool. Savage Avengers. Do a trade of that. And the Savage Sword of Conan. That's cool. Oh, we got trades of this too. Mortal Hulk Volume 5, Breaker of Worlds. Also available these, all these trades. And then this one, that's cool. That's a cool picture. Then we got Deadpool. Deadpool by Scotty Young, Volume 3, Weasel Goes to Hell, trade paperback. <laughs> that's weird. Tony Stark, Iron Man, Volume 3. These have come out with some really cool covers. I see them at half price books. A lot of people just buy them and then, sell, and then sell them to them. The covers are awesome. I'm sh not sure if the story's any good. But um, let me know if you if you know about it. I know Kurt Busiek is a good writer. How's Gail Simone? All these are these writers. I know Gil Kurt Busiek is a writer, but I'm not sure who else writes. I, can, I don't remember the names. Gail Simone, yeah, Dan Slott, Jim's Up, and Kurt Busiek, with Kurt Busiek and Roger Stern. Cool. And we got Thor, Volume 3, Wars, Wars End. 
the covers there. And this is a nice cover here. That's cool. We got the Punisher, volume three, street by street, block by block. That is cool. I wonder if he allowed that, unless they own his image or something like that. I'd like to get him to sign stuff. If you forget ever get him, meet him to sign some comic books. I don't know if they do that or not. War of the Realms, Uncanny X Men trade. Fantastic Four, The Prodigal Son trade. Coming out in November, Fearless trade. Coming out in November. Amazing Spider Man, Red Goblin trade. I don't know if that had the punch that they thought it was going to have. They hyped it up and everything, but it didn't really do as well as I, th I think it could have done. But what, what, do you th what do you think about the Red Goblin? Star Wars Volume 12, Re Rebels and Rogues. Everything. That's cool. Star Wars Age of Resistance. Heroes Trade. Star Wars Age of Resistance. Villains Trade. You got Power Man and Iron Fist Epic Collection. Doom Ringer Trade. We got a, a different, that's a, to show you the whole wraparound cover or the, the cover from the back there. An X Factor Epic Collection Examinations Trade. You got a different cover here. We got uh, X Men Milestones Fatal Attractions Trade. X Men Star Jammers by Dave Cochran Trade. Deadpool by Joe Kelly, The Complete Collection, Volume 1, Trade. Ed McGinnis Art. X-Men Trial of the Juggernaut, Trade. What If Classic, The Complete Collection, Volume 2, Trade. That's cool. That might be one way to get them if I didn't want to buy them all. I'm trying to get the original copies, but if I didn't want to buy them all, we could get something like this. 40 bucks. 376 pages. That's cool. You got the vision, the complete trade, complete collection trade. Adventures of the X Men, Rites of Passage, graphic novel trade. Spider Gwen, Gwen Stacy, graphic novel trade, paperback. You got posters here. These are cool. I mean, they could do one of Alex Ross's stuff all the time. They could do one of almost all these covers. It'd be awesome. And these are just a uh, checklist of books. More checklist. And then this Beware the Ghost Rider, number one. See all this stuff, you can get this and put a frame around this and hang it up in your room. Your man cave or girl cave or wherever you want, if, wherever you do your comic books or your artwork. Carnage rules. But cool stuff. All right, let me know what you think about this. this that was part two. And we finished the whole book. Um, thank you very much for watching. It, it looks like a lot of great stuff coming out. I can't wait, but I'm looking forward to new stuff. But thank you very much for watching again, and Collector Dude is out.